Hey guys, um, this is Mike the Wrestling God Smith. I just posted my Raw SmackDown draft prediction, so once that's up, I hope you guys check it out. I got a lot of thoughts on the draft, so you guys can check it out. Like I said, I want to hear your thoughts, comments. Um, like I said, hit me on the comment section, tell me your thoughts about the, my draft predictions, your draft predictions. I just want to hear your thoughts, guys. Thank you for the views. Oh, and um, before I start this video too, this video is for the mystery return NXT person. I'm going to get right into that. I'm going to tell you guys. I already know. I, I already get a feeling that it's going to be one of the two. It's not clearing cross because he's too, he's still injured. He would have came. He would have came last week. And I'm thinking because it kind of got me thinking about Ember Moon because we haven't really seen high tell Ember Moon just yet. It got me thinking about it. Like we haven't seen her since like literally like maybe about a year or two now. So if she comes back, that's going to send a whole bunch of people in the women's division like Rhea and Io and and Candice and all the like all the big players and and Caden Carter and K Lacey Cadmanzaro like I mean Casey Cadmanzaro like everybody. I feel like she's going to end up showing up somehow. Or it's got to be Bo Dallas cuz he I just, I feel like he's there. I feel like it's him. I feel like it's him, Jason Jordan. I feel like it's got to be... It's going to... I need to know. I just need to know if this dude's going to show up. Because we keep getting that, that weird message. And, and from the sound, and it's it was a woman. But I really feel like it's got to be two returns, though. It can't be one. It's got to be two returns. Like, it's got to be either, either one of the two. It's got to be. Because either it's got to be, who am I thinking of right now? It, it, it's got to be one of them. Because that's what bugs me a little bit more about it. Because what's bugging me, it's got to be two returns. It's got to be one for the women's, one for the one for the men. Because that's what NXT would do. I feel like that's their playbook. I feel like they would give us two, re, two shocking returns. Not just one shocking return. Because I feel like... Bo Dallas, we haven't seen Bo Dallas, because I don't even know if that dude's been released from the company, or he's alive, because I feel like they're going to do the Ember Moon thing and the Jason Jordan thing could be possibly, could possibly be a thing, or it could be Lars Sullivan, because I feel like he's going to come back in some shape or form, that's my thought about it, because if I'm right... Because it's actually four people. Because now that I think about it, because it could be somebody we never, somebody we've never seen. Because I'm feeling like it was Lars Sullivan. Because Lars Sullivan had a shot at the NXT title, but never won it though. But he went to SmackDown. But we haven't seen him since that injury he had. So it would probably be Lars Sullivan, Bo Dallas, Jason Jordan. Or Ember Moon, but they would do two ones though. They would do two pay two returns, because wouldn't it be weird, right? Let's just say it would be weird, because I don't think it's on. It's not Eric Young because he's on. I think he's still on Impact, or he came back to be on Impact because he's still he came back. So I'm thinking it's got to be someone we never we haven't seen, which means we haven't seen Jason Jordan and we haven't seen Ember Moon. So it's probably both of them. I feel like he's going to return, or I feel like they're going to do the return right after the championship match or during it. That's my thought. They're going to, she's going to show up after the match, or he's going to show up after the match, because I feel like they're going to do two returns. That's my thought, guys. I'm doing, I'm thinking in my head. They're going to do two returns because, here's my thing. They're going to do two returns because NXT wouldn't miss this chance to do it. Especially because this gives every because remember when Finn returned he became a heel. Ember returns if she becomes a heel and says I'm back or some type of way to tell her because I got a gut feeling about it. Because think about it, everybody's been showing up like everybody we think who would never return to NXT has been showing up. Finn Balor. Finn Balor was the first dude to show back up. Killian Dane. Second dude to show back up. Alexander Wolf showing back up on showing up on NXT UK. 
wasn't, and that's really Ambry's angle. Them two showing back up. That's super weird. So what I'm saying is, with all the people, like, hear me out, guys. With all the people showing up, I'm telling, I got a gut feeling it's Ember. I really got a gut feeling. My gut feeling's never wrong. I got a gut feeling in my in my brain telling me it's Ember Moon because the way because the way she showed up. I'm telling you, and it's near Halloween, and we haven't seen Ember Moon since. Like since the one up the up up down video, I got a gut feeling it's probably gonna end up being. It's probably gonna end up being Ember Moon, bro. She's gonna show back up in some way. Some shape or form, and it's gonna be kind of crazy because she's riding a somebody's riding a scooter, or a Vespa. I swear to God, I'm telling you, it's got. I'm telling you, it's Ember Moon. The mystery person is Ember Moon. I'm sorry, God. This is not a this is this is a prediction, not a spoiler. But I'm telling you, I got a gut feeling it is her. Cause she just we haven't seen her. Like, cause remember, like remember, think about retribution, guys. Think about everybody's in retribution right now. And somebody's showing up. Meaning we haven't seen me or you. Meaning we haven't seen Martin. We haven't seen Martinez. We haven't even seen them. And I'm telling you, if it's, it's, it's somebody, it's somebody from past NXT, like one of the NXT alumni. Because that day when she the day that when um Asuka left to give um Ember the belt, and she had that and then when she lost and then she lost Ember Moon lost it to um she lost it to, to, to Shayna Baszler. I feel like she's going to come back in that shape or form. And she's going to come back. And it's going to be some type. It's going to be a real crazy heel turn. Because she's going to be like, I'm back. I, you know, you guys forgot about me or something like that. Ever since I got injured. And I had to forcibly get, I had to forcibly get injured by Shayna Baszler. And lost the NXT Women's title. I, now my reign can truly begin uh, an eclipse of NXT. That's what I feel like it's going to end up being. She's going to show up. I feel like she's going to show up during the women's match. I feel like that's going to be the return we've been thinking about. Because the way they've been playing this return, I really feel like it's her. Because she got injured by Shayna Baszler, went to the main roster, but never won a championship at main roster. Not even one. So I'm thinking, if she comes back at NXT, because it'd be perf- it would be right before the draft. And this is right way before the draft for SmackDown. So I'm thinking, in my head... That the mystery return could be Ember Moon. Because we haven't seen her. We haven't seen Jason Jordan. We haven't seen even Bo Dallas. Because I'm thinking they're going to do two returns on the same night. I think both. there's going to be two returns. Two NXT returns. Why I'm saying this, guys? Because like I said, you guys are probably not going to believe me. But I'm telling you guys, 100%. I'm I'm willing I'm willing to put I'm willing to put my my view I'm willing to put 15 views on this video. That is going to be two returns in NXT. One's going to be Bo Dallas in a different you know, in a different and a repack a different package video, and it's going to be Ember Moon because they're not. There's no way to do one. They're gonna they're gonna because NXT loves to bank on big returns. So the biggest return would be a former NXT champion, which was Bo Dallas, because he won. At arrival in 2014, that's how we got main roster abilities. Because the same thing with Ember Moon, she won it from Oscar, because Oscar went to go to the main roster. So I'm thinking, and I'm thinking that she's gonna come back. They wouldn't waste that oppor- They wouldn't just waste that opportunity on one person. They do two returns. Because think about it. What if Bo Dallas shows up, right? What if Ember, like, they, 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 the match, the women's match is over in the return, and we hear the music of Ember Moon's music, her theme music pops up, and boom, she comes right back. Like, the lights go out. We don't know who it is. The lights turn back on. It's Ember. She might do it during the match. Ember Moon shows up during the match. The light, and we look, like, oh, holy crap, it's Ember Moon. Like, that. I'm telling you guys, this return is going to be big. I'm telling you, I got a gut feeling. It's got to be, it's got to be Ember Moon and Bo Dallas. They're going, they're doing two returns at the same time. Because I think Triple H, is, he's that, he's got that mindset. I really think he would do it because that would be a big opportunity for both of them and William Regal. 
I feel like they're they're all in on it. I feel like they're both doing it to surprise us both with two returns and two returns. Oh, sorry, two returns and not one. I'm telling you. Cause wouldn't it be funny for a former NXT champion to show up? Cause it's not Pac. But his Pac is on AEW. So why would he go back from AEW to go to NXT? It wouldn't make no sense. Or unless unless he is going back. That's what, wait, oh, sorry guys, you just gave me an idea. I'm sorry. It could be Pac. Also known as Adrian Neville. It could be the man that Gravity forgot because he, he won the NXT title. Because I remember. He was a cruiser, formerly cruiserweight. What if he is that guy? What if it's that guy? What if it's him? What if it's him? What if it is Adrian Neville? I thought about it. So it might be Adrian Neville. An Ember Moon. It might be never an Ember Moon. Why I'm saying this, guys? Because think about it. It couldn't be Bo Dallas. It couldn't be. Because he got drafted to Raw. He never got injured. We just never seen him. I think he got fired with Corey Curtis Actors. I think. Because I remember he got fired. The B team was supposed to be on. The B team was on SmackDown for a little bit. Then they went back to Raw. So my guess would be. It would be Ember Moon for the women's side. And then Adrian Neville. Devil for the for the men because think about it, he's a former NXT guy, he did his first pay per view, so they took they changed it to from a rival to take over. So I'm thinking it's gotta be Neville. It's gotta be him. It's gotta be him and Ember Moon. But like I said, guys, I'm telling you, I'm on the bet. I'm I'm telling you, I got my I got my I got four three guesses. The first guess I got, which is both Dallas and Ember Moon. The second one is Jason Jordan and Ember Moon. The third guess is Adrian Neville and Ember Moon. Because I got a gut feeling about it. One, 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 two of those guesses could be right. One of them could be wrong. And I'm telling you guys, I'm telling you, I'm willing to put 15 views on this video that it's going to be Ember Moon or Ember Moon and somebody else. But like I said... Like I said, please check this video, guys. I'm telling you. My, I'm telling you. This is not a prediction. This is a spoiler. I'm telling you it's got to be both of them. It's got to be Adrian Neville and Ember Moon or Bo Dallas and Ember Moon or Jason Jordan and Ember Moon. I'm telling you. I got a gut feeling about it. But anyway, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Peace.